Hello, hello. This is Altar of Wisdom. Today, I'm going to present you my latest Max for Life device, namely Outer Grid. Let's get into it. What is Outer Grid? Uh, it's simply Auto Grid. Auto means automatic. You understand that this will it will allow you to do some automatic stuff. And Grid uh, is uh, the base of Grid Sense. For those who don't know it, grid sense is a term that is used to define uh, some patterns, rhythmic patterns, based on synth uh, and combining different sounds to add some richness and some uh, different timbers in this in the tr in your tracks. It's opposite to having just a bass line or a random pattern playing just one synth we could be a bit boring and if you try to layer several of these you end up having too much stuff going on in the in your track and it can be quite uh, quite an issue so the solution for that is having one note of each synth playing at a time and the whole synth playing a rhythm which will be interesting for the listener all this is quite complex compli complicated to to set up and uh, takes quite a, quite some time so I've, so I've asked myself how could i improve that workflow and i designed that device for that so here we have a basic track the first here is just some random uh, some kick and bass and a few and a few uh, perks Nothing fancy, just some basic to to have the flow running. We have then the four instruments which are here. Each of these have a different sound. We can listen to them. Maybe a bit too high. There we go. So we have two classical FM sounds. Both are from Serum. Here we have something which is a bit more droney, coming from UE based Bazilla. And the, and the latest one is some kind of hyper so, super so style, style, style lead, coming from also from UHC but ACE this time. The first track here is the backbone and the background of our of our grid since of our auto grid it's where the device will be lying it also contains a sound you can listen to it it's much more of an ambience than a, an actual sound we'll see later than it's on purpose let's activate the auto grid the ue is rather self-explanatory for our part but still i want to get into it uh, current here is allow, allows us to change the level of the background if it's too high we also here have the four different inputs that can be routed to the auto grid and on which auto grid will base the grid sense so let's move on and select all four fms Are we good? No, why not? Because here we have the four leads playing directly to the master to the master channel, and this is not what we want. So let's remove them from playing to the master. We keep we can we can use some panning. Let's check that. For example, the two FM would be slightly occurring at different point of st stereo and this one uh, it's quite different so they can stay in the middle let's remove the sand for, for the moment and now 
If I press play, what happens? So we here, it's a bit fast, let's change straight away, and remove the 32s, 30 seconds that are playing and just keeping 50% uh, weight of one on one fourth, eighths and sixteenths. <laughs> On the top here, we can change the probability of each input to be selected. So if I just want to listen to input 1, So the first thing we can do is uh, balance between the nature of the sounds. Uh, some can be perceived as louder or occurring uh, at mo mo most, uh, mo most times because they are more present, they have more wider presence in the spectrum, for example, and others can be on the back. We can also change the input level of each of these, have them as, uh, slight, at the slightly same volume. We could also change the volumes here, of, of course. We can also change the length of each stutter, let's call them the stutters, and we add, add some randomness to them. For each note, for each stutter, the device displays how long it takes from the current chosen division. division. If the density is too high, we can re we can reduce it. sound and avoid ticks and pops. If I put it to zero, we may experience some some clicks. Here it's not the case or it's not audible, but sometimes it can show. We can increase that up to the point where the transients are removed and we have something which is really smooth. The latest, which is the um, most complex part of the device, is that mix knob because it had two purposes. First one is to actually do a mix between the main track and the stutters. So when it's zero, we just hear the current track. When we increase that value, we start hearing the stutters, but when we reach 50%, both the stutters and the current at our main volume. If I continue increasing that value, the mix instead becomes a ducking for the current track. 
So when a stutter is playing, the volume of the current track is lowered. At 100%, if a stutter is playing, we don't hear at all the current track. It's fully ducked. All the parameters can be automated. For example, if we want to have an increasing density throughout the introduction of the of the stutters. We can add a bit of, of effects, especially a delay, which is quite nice with Britsons. It's also easy, let's remove the envelope. It's also easy to sorry. To export sounds out of the grid sense because what we usually don't want is to have total randomness. Uh, basically what we want is controlled randomness. So we'll generate one audio clip or several audio clips of these patterns and use them or chop them as as necessary. Let's, for example, make one with a low density for introducing the grid sense. Let's copy that over to an audio track. And we can make another one with a higher density. And we can on this one remove the background because usually if the density is high, it's not needed. There we go. So if we see this one, we have an audio file containing the stutters and the and the background. You can hear it. And the second one. And there we go. Okay, I think we're through. So here's a brief uh, tutorial about, it was a, a brief tutorial about AutoGrid. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, you have all the links if you want to get that device in the description. Thanks for your attention. Bye-bye, take care.